Hello. Let's model this trunk this body. It's a truncated icosahedron. Um, let's start with a sketch and the millimeter template on the top plane XZ. Polygon six sided, center at origin. This line horizontally. Let's give it a dimension of 66. And um, we can create a surface patch here. Okay, let's continue with a 3D sketch. Include geometry, that side and that one. Draw a line from that point somewhere up here. And specify two angles. One over here at 108 degrees. The other one over here with 120. All right. We can apply that constraint equal length. Finish that sketch. Then um, make a work plane with that edge and that one. And continue drawing on that plane. Another polygon. This time five-sided. Yeah. Include one edge in this sketch, that one, and make a coincident constraint between that point and that one, that one over here. All right, fully constrained. Continue with the patch of that body, those edges. Um, create another plane with that edge and that one. Start a sketch. Uh, polygon six sided. Over here. Include that edge and the sketch and make it coincident like this all right and just another surface patch okay um, change the visibility turn it off now we need one axis the y axis and make a circular pattern of that surface body and that one, that edge, and how many times? Two times, right? Three times. All right. We got that. Um, now, Um, create a plane with that. Include one edge, draw a polygon six sided, make it coincident like this. Mm. 
make a surface patch. And let's see, comes next, switch off the visibility. We need um, let's see, we need another um, hexagon right in here. So create the, the work plane, start the sketch, include that edge, draw a polygon, make it coincident. and patch that one. Okay. All right, so after this, there'll be a, a pentagon. Okay, switch off the visibility. Make a work plane, those two. Start a sketch, include that edge, draw a polygon, five-sided, like this, make it coincident, and patch it. All right. Um, now, we start right here, and those are the last three surface bodies. Make a pattern of those three around that same edge. How many times? Three times, right? Yeah, like this. All right. Good. Now, we need um, a work point on one of the hexagons right here. And we need a plane defined by that plane and that work point. Now, first of all, we can stitch all surface bodies to one and mirror that body over that work plane. And finally, we need to rotate the upper body so it fits nicely in here. Go to modify, take move bodies. Take that upper body, which one? That one. Pick that one, rotate about line, use that Y axis again. The value is 60 degrees, apply. All right, and we're done with that. And um, if you want to make it a solid body, you can stitch um, one more time those two and apply and see now as you can see here, it's a solid body. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.